Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are highly welcome. Please, I beg you for this favor, click on that red button that says subscribe. Beside the red button is a notification bell. Turn the bell on so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first person to check it out. I appreciate each and every one of you who always turn back to watch my videos. Like you know, I present news on daily basis to you. So after watching the video, you are free to criticize and leave your comment constructively share the video yeah you can share it to your family friends anybody that you can so that they themselves will be informed now i present to you another interesting or informative video which we are going to watch together yeah i'm going to watch this video together with you then we'll come to the comment section that they have in hand by kidnapping mass in namnikanu and european union want to make themselves clear out of this and what happened next european e un that is called union peoples you know european union communications and their dialogue with nigerian government and kenyan government and european union came out to speak to them to tell them that they have to release mass in namdikano immediately and with a compensation to pay Masin Namdikanu for the to, for torturing him and for kidnapping him and for destroying his own mission. Because what did European Union say? Masin Namdikanu is not a criminal. Masin Namdikanu is innocent. So why do Nigerian government locked in him? For the first time I hear European Union speaking out the truth. Trust me. This is the first time I hear European Union coming out and speak the truth. His kidnap become a very big disturbance for Europeans and UK. Masin Namdikanu is a man with big dignity. Masin Namdikanu is a man with an UK citizenship document. And if we may ask for the first place for, ask for kidnapping Masin Namdikanu, do you think Nigerian government will kidnap an, a, an UK citizen as a white man? In Africa and UK will not speak about it, but it happened in this way. Masin Namdikanu have a UK citizenship document, and he was kidnapped in Kenya and taken to Nigeria to lock him up without no court process, without no nothing. And later, what happened? UK was the uh, uh, under under underground gem player to see that Masin Namdikanu is locked up because UK was trying to steal the oil from Nigeria and they couldn't get this oil because Masin Namdikanu was there to wake up the Nigerians to tell them what is making Nigeria to remain poor, what is making Nigeria greatness to go down each and every day. And Masin Namdikanu was there standing for these people, fighting for them, trying to speak out the truth, to make the Nigerians to see the truth, to make the Nigerians to realize things by themselves. And UK have seen that with Masin Namdikanu being in this process, they are not going to get what they want from Nigeria. They are not going to steal what they want to steal from Nigeria when Masin Namdikanu is still roaming and changing the mindset of Nigerians to become good citizens Nigerians. And UK have to connive with Nigerian government to kidnap Masin Namdikanu. This was their plan not to kidnap Masin Namdikanu inside Nigeria, but to wait when he is out from Nigeria to to, to send kidnappers to keep him, to kidnap him, because they feel like nobody will be able to come out to speak about Masin Namdikanu, how he was injusticeful, injusticely kidnapped. You know, they think nobody will come out to speak about it. But guess what happened? After kidnapping Masin Namdikanu, everywhere was de 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 destabilized. Everywhere was un unstable, Nigeria. And Masin Namdikanu make a revolution that he will be locked up. But you know, Nigeria will be in fire and we will see the fire that government grow by themselves that the same fire is going to burn them. And that's what is happening today in Nigerian government. The fire, the people they arm to kill innocent people in Nigeria. If we all can be aware of it, how many peoples have been dying, innocent peoples in Nigeria, by gone, they slaughter them. This is a very big thing. That is happening in Nigeria and nobody was talking about it Nigeria is colonized by uh, UK Engelter UK government and UK government will never speak the truth about Nigeria but they will always want to destroy Nigeria this fact 
we should understand and this fact that uh uk want to destroy nigeria masin namdekano born in uk half a uk citizenship document was in nigeria and they kidnap him and people were asking this question why uk is not speaking and i respond to them today that uk will never speak because uk was the underground game player to see that masin namdekano is locked up and never came out again you know, African government are locking up innocent peoples all around. It's not only in Nigeria this kind of things is happening. If you people are aware of it, last week I was always speaking about a Gambian Bubakar Keta who was kidnapped by Gambian government. I can say kidnapped because I will not say who was locked up, who was arrested. I will not say arrested, but a Bubakar Keta and Gambian who was accused of raping by his own wife, who was accused by his own wife, the, his ex-wife, that he raped her sister and Gambian government kidnapped this boy still this boy is in prison and nothing to come out of it nigerian peoples nigerian government kidnapped masin namdikano and they think nothing will come out of it come on you know when we can wake up and stand together as one and fight for our right and fight for our justice you know we should fight for our right when we can do this then we will both have freedom it doesn't matter which country when you have been locked up by your government know that people from different countries in africa will stand for you like the same way people from different countries speak about masin namdekano's release and to fight for masin namdekano release the same way people from different countries speak about abu bakar keta from gambia who was locked up or kidnapped by gambian government to lock him off for no reason the same way and masin namdekano today uk un european union wake up said nigerian government should release masin namdekano immediately because they locked him up without no evidence without no good reason and without no due process they locked him up they kidnap him and locked him up it's not like they arrest him but they kidnap him from another man country and transfer him to nigeria to lock him up this is unfair and this is rubbish good this is very rubbish that happened why do uk we should ask ourselves this question especially biafran peoples i will make it very clear for biafran peoples today to understand what is going on why do un european union trying to fight the right of mass in namdekano they are not fighting the right of mass in namdekano but the damage on them they want to remove it and that damage on them cannot be removed if mass in namdekano is not out of prison so they have to fight Nigerian government to release Masin Namdekano immediately and to pay him for compensation, to pay him compensation, and Kenya government to pay him compensation. This is what you, you and the European Union is fighting for right now. To release Masin Namdekano and for Nigerian government and Kenyan government to pay him compensation for torturing him and for all damage they have caused in his life. We should all know that, uh, we should all begin to realize that Masin Namdekano is a justice man, a man stand with freedom, a man stand with truth, a man who is, who is ready to do everything. Masin Namdekano is a man. And you see, when you are with, in the, with the truth, when you are with justice, when you are with freedom, fighting for freedom, no matter how you are locked up, you will always be free because they can kill you. When they locked up Masin Namdekano, I said Masin Namdekano will be released. They can't kill him. They are not mad to kill Masin Namdekano. Nigerian government is not crazy to kill Masin Namdekano because that will be a very big disaster in Nigeria. As we all can see, Nigeria was in a very big disaster in this last two years because Masin Namdekano was out. And they think it will be good for them. And they think maybe if they locked up Masin Namdekano, Biafra will surrender to them. No, to hell to surrender to Nigerian government. Biafra stands still strong fame. Biafra still says Nigerian election, they are not going to participate. And I accept that, that mindset from Biafran peoples. Because that was my own thinking that Biafra should never participate in Nigerian election because Biafra is their own country. Biafra stands as a country. Since Masin Namdekano stand to say he want liberation and what Masin Namdekano is doing is going to liberate every African country. This is going to be a big lesson to all African leaders, not only Nigeria. This is the main reason I support Masin Namdekano. I stand with him because whatever he is trying to do Nigeria today, Masin Namdekano trying to separate. Many people call it, oh, Masin Namdekano is doing separation. Why do we want to separate from Nigeria? Why do we want to separate Biafra from Nigeria? Masin Namdekano have to do this because this is what have to happen in every country because African leaders, they cannot change. 
and the only thing that could change them is to remove ourselves from them. Let's see if they can rule the empty land. If African leaders don't want to change, then we are going to leave the land for them and be ourselves. And let's see if they will rule the empty land without peoples. There is no king without kingdom. And there is no kingdom without king. But you know, we the kingdom peoples make the king to become king. If the king don't realize this, then we leave the king to rule himself and his family. And we become ourselves king. And we choose the king that will rule us. And this is what Masin Namdekano is trying to do. And this is going to change. And I tell you, Biafra is going to be whole. Biafra is going to stand as their own continent. Biafra is going to be themselves. Biafra is going to become a country. A peaceful country. Masin Namdekano, His Excellency. You know, when, when I call him every time, I need to put His Excellency on Masin Namdekano name. Because he's my president. I, that's why I call him His Excellency Masin Namdekano. He is my president and he is the president of Biafra. A man with justice. I never see a leader who rule peoples like this. Malema from South Africa. People are waking up. African people are waking up. But where are these taking with the Africans? It depends how we the Africans. If we can behave like peoples in Biafra. That's why I really, I really appreciate Biafra citizens. Really, so much I appreciate Biafra citizens because they join with Masin Namdekano without betraying Masin Namdekano. Even though Masin Namdekano was locked up, Biafra citizens still stand on their two feet, says, no, it will never happen. We will never fall down. Biafra will never fall down. And I appreciate this. And I was very happy to see Biafra when Masin Namdekano was locked up. I was afraid that Biafra, they are going to really retreat from this because uh, the leader who is pushing them to do this is now locked up. So I'm not sure Biafra will continue. But I've seen Biafra get a knowledge and power, new power, new energies to come up with new system to say it will never happen even if our leader is in prison. We want our leader to know that we are still standing wherever he stopped. We will start it from there and move on. This is what Biafra says to Masin Namdekanu. They stand, they open their platform, their radio stations, they make everything to work accordingly and perfectly as Masin Namdekanu want it to be. And I appreciate this from Biafra peoples. And Masin Namdekanu will be released before this year will finish. If Masin Namdekanu is not released, then there will be fire on the mountain, trust me. Biafran people, this is the good news I bring for you people that you and now is involved in this that Masin Namdekano should be released with compensation by Nigerian government should give him compensation for torturing him. Kenyan government should give him compensation for destroying his life, for, 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 for locking up, for kidnapping him in Kenya. Kenyan government have to pay this compensation. For locking him up and torturing him, Nigerian government have to pay this compensation. You and European Union is now involved in this to see that Masin Namdekano is out from prison because there is a pressure on European Union and if Masin Namdekano is not out, this pressure will not be up. European Union will be in this pressure. This is the main reason European Union. We all know European Union will never fight for Africa. But why are they fighting for Masin Namdekano release? Good! But I believe Masin Namdekano is not a man that will see that, oh, European Union fight for me, then I should join them and, 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 and work with them. This is what they do. I believe if Masin Namdekano is out tomorrow, Masin Namdekano is not a man who will say, oh, European Union fight for me to come out. Then I should be with them, then I should connive with them. This is the plan of European Union. They know Masin Namdekano have a power. They need the power of Masin Namdekano. So they want to fight to see that Masin Namdekano is out. They involve themselves in this for that purpose. When Masin Namdekano is out to become a slave to them, but that will never happen because I know Masin Namdekano very well. Masin Namdekano is not a man who will be threatened by awards. Masin Namdekano awards become a very educational, it become a university in Africa. The discussion or the conversation of Masin Namdekano become a university in Africa. The words that is coming out from Masin Namdekano's brain and his head become a university in Africa. Because everybody learn from it. Everybody who listen to Masin Namdekano, you become wise, wise, more wiser than anybody. A man with freedom, a man with wisdom is Masin Namdekano in Nigeria. Either you know it or either you don't know it or either you believe it or either you, either you don't believe it. Biafra is a, is a country that will stand on their own, out from Nigeria. 
Lot of the people's Gambians or Senegalese or Guineans or Sierra Leone, many people were asking me, why do you fight for Biafra? What is Biafra? What is Biafra? I will explain what is Biafra. I will explain just a little bit, just the ending of this. Biafra want to be out of Nigeria. They want to form their own country. And I think this is a very good decision that Biafran peoples have made. This is the most intelligent decision that I have ever seen in Africa in all these 10 years. In all these past 10 years, this is the most biggest and most intelligent experience that I have seen in Africa that people have gathered to do. I have seen so many peoples talking, 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 talking will not solve the problem. What Masin Namdekano is doing is, is the one that is going to solve the problem. Every action that Masin Namdekano is doing is a solution to African problem. It's a solution to African slaveness. For us to enslave ourselves, for us to remove ourselves from this bondage, that's what Masin Namdekano is doing. To be out from Nigeria, people call it separation, I don't call it separation. Those who call it separation, they don't understand. Yes, it's a separation because you have to separate from the devils. Masin Namdekano should take Biafra away from the devils, from the evil's government. That called Nigerian government, Mohamed Buhari, the president of Nigeria. Who don't care about Nigerians, who don't care about how Nigerians survive or how Nigerians live, but only care about how his family survive or how much money do Nigerians have in their accounts. Mohamed Buhari doesn't want to know how Nigerians are suffering, how Nigerians are dying. Not long ago, on the 9th of this month, on the 9th of this month, on the 29th of this month, a Nigerian guy was murdered in Italy here. Nothing came out of it. And the man who murdered this Nigerian guy, this man is still living in a house. And I tell you, Italians are going to kill all the black peoples and nothing will come out of it. Where is Nigerian leader? Do you think an Italian will go to Nigeria and, and be and been killed by a Nigerian citizen and Italy will never wake up and fight for it? If an Italian man go to Nigeria and he, he was killed by a Nigerian man in Nigeria, do you think Italy will not send their investigators to go and investigate the matter? They will leave Italy and they will go there to investigate why this one person was dead. But how many Nigerians have been killed by Italian citizens? This is what African leaders, this is why I call them useless leaders in Africa. Selfish leaders, greatest leaders in Africa. If I'm a president in Nigeria right now, and this Nigerian guy was murdered by Italian guy, I will come here and I will keep this man and I will lock him up in my own country. They must face the consequences and I will have a very big problem with Italian government. And this is what every good African leader should do. But an, this Nigerian guy, an Italian guy strangled him in front of everybody they were watching him. In the street. In the street. When people are there in the street, an Italian guy keep a Nigerian girl and strangle him to death. The same thing happened in Joy Floyd. The same thing that what happened to Joy Floyd, the same thing happened to this Nigerian guy. But what is happening in Italy right now? Italian government is keeping quiet. And this man is sitting in his house when he has killed an, a, a black man. Do you know how they call it when, when, when a white man kills a black man? They call it, uh, he killed a dog. Do you know how they feel like? They feel like you kill a dog. When white man kill a black man, they feel like, oh, he's a dog. Black man is a dog. But when a black man kill a white man, how do they call it? They call it criminal act, criminal offense. This is what we the black people have to understand. And this is why mostly I said black people should think like me because I never trust white from the beginning. I never trust white peoples, especially white governments. And I will never trust. The same thing happened to Joy Floyd. Joy Floyd was murdered by an American policeman and Joy Floyd, the person who murdered Joy Floyd is still working in America freely. Do you think they locked them up? Any white man who killed a black man, the government didn't lock them up. They give them house arrest. Let me tell you, the Africans, what is the meaning of house arrest? They tell you to sit in your house so that nobody sees you, but they will never take them to prison. They leave them to sit in their house and tell them house arrest for two years. Let nobody see them. And this government, this, the same government who, who arrest this boy, house arrest, this white man, will, the same government will pay him every month. Their government pay them every month for sitting in the house for two years. Their government pay their food, pay their light bills. But when a black man kill a white man in Europe do you know what will happen? They will take you to prison, the most dangerous prison in Europe, they will take you there. And they are going to give you medicines that are going to destroy you little by little, till you die. They are, every food they will take, take to you in that prison, they will put medicine for you to die. That medicine will be killing you slowly. 
This is what white people do. This man who killed a Nigerian guy, this Italian guy who killed a Nigerian man in Italy here. Let's see how it's going to happen. They are going to put, Italian government is going to put this man as a house arrest. And that house arrest, Italian government will be paying this man every month. Italian government will be paying for this man house bill. Does this, you call that an arrest? They will never arrest their peoples when they kill black peoples. When their peoples kill black people, they call it you kill animal. When black, black man do something bad, they call it criminal offense. But white people are doing criminal offense and you call it, no, it's not a criminal offense. They kill black, it's not, in, it's not a problem. When you kill black, it's not a problem. But when black kill white, it's a problem. What kind of bullshit is happening in this world? That's why we the black people have to wake up and stand with our two feet and say, no, it's enough, it's enough. I have been watching Italy for a very long time when I never speak about Italy in any of my videos. This is what I say to Italians that they should be ready for war with Pandemica because I am ready for them right now. I never speak about Italy. I was speaking about every country in Europe I never speak about Italy. And this will be the right time I will start to speak about Italy. There are so many wrong things going on in Italy here with Italian government or with Italian citizens. The most racist country in the whole Europe. If you pass Italy, then you will never see a country that is racist anymore. If you pass Italy, you are finding a racist country in Europe here or in the whole world. You pass Italy, then you will never see a racist country anymore. I tell you this. Italy is very racist and Italians are very racist. Italians are very wicked. If you don't know it, you don't know. But Italians are very wicked. I'm in Italy and I understand Italians. If you understand Italians, you will live in Italy. If you don't understand Italians, you can't live in Italy. This is what mostly what Italian people always say. If you want to live in Italy, you have to become a criminal. If you want to live in Italy, you have to become a terrorist to, live, to, be, to be able to live in Italy. If not, you can't live in Italy. You have to be a mafia to, live, to be able to live in Italy. And this is how Italians behave. Italians are doing criminal acts to black people, but they call it nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. But when a black man do it, it's a problem. A Nigerian guy, on the 29th, I think Friday, it was last Friday, Nigerian guy, an Italian guy strangled a Nigerian man on the street when Italians are there watching and videoing this, it, their fellow Italian killing a black man till this Nigerian guy lose his soul. And now police says they are just measuring the street where this man died. What are you measuring? Italian police, they are the most, they are the first people who are very racist. Second to go to Italian carabinieri. They are the second people who are the most racist here. I will tell you that they are the government workers. Government workers are the most racist people in the Italy. Fourth, I will come to the citizens. 70% of Italian citizens are all racist. If any black don't understand this, you don't understand. I don't care how you, you, how you live it, it, with Italians. If you are a black man living in Italy, I don't care how you live with Italians, but I will tell you from today, Italians, 70% of Italians are all racist. Only 30% is not racist. But 70% of Italian citizens, they are all racist. Italians will laugh with you when they want you to work for them like animal. Italians will laugh with you, they will tell you you are good when, when they want to use you to have to have money from government. Italians will laugh with you when you are working for them like animal. When they are making you to work like animal to kill yourself for them. Work 9 hours and they pay you 30 euro. Work 10 hours and they pay you 35 euro. They call you, you are good. This is what is happening in Italy. Italians are using blacks. And none of these European countries are talking about it. The European Union is not talking about it. And they all know what Italians are doing to black people. And Italians didn't stop there. Italians are still using black people are like animals. They didn't stop there. Now they are killing black people like shit. They don't care. I saw many Italian citizens who have killed black people and they are free today. Walking on the street. I will take an example. A Gambian guy, a Gambian boy, was killed by an Italian doctor in Palermo, Sicilia, Italy. Italy, Sicilia, Palermo. An Italian and Gambian guy, Gambian boy was killed by an Italian doctor and nothing came out of it. Police didn't arrest this doctor. They didn't do anything. In front of me. I am the eyes of the witness of that. From there, I, I start to hate white people. From there, I start to... In Milano, a Gambian guy also was murdered by Italian doctor. Till Gambians do demonstration, they want to burn the hospital down. It's all happening in Italy here. 
In Napoli, a Nigerian guy was shot by an Italian man with gun. He shot him and killed him. Nothing came out of it. The man is still free. <laughs> but I can count it. I will not finish it. What happened in Italy? How many Italian citizens have killed black peoples? How many black peoples were killed by Italian citizens? But all these Italian citizens are working freely. I can remember very vividly. I can remember very vividly that one Nigerian guy have problem with his girlfriend and his girlfriend is an Italian. Have a problem with this Italian and beat this Italian girl, this Italian girl, and now police came there, they call it criminal offense, they lock this boy up and they go to court, they said now the case of this boy is finished because this boy have to go to prison forever. Or they deport him back to his country. Then now what they do, the conclusion, they say they will lock the boy, the Nigerian boy, forbidding his girlfriend as an Italian, his girlfriend is an Italian, has forbidden that Italian girl, he is going to prison for 30 years and after 30 years they will deport him back. The man is still in prison because I think this year will be the 15 years or 16 years of the boy in prison. All these things are very clear. So why can't they treat their own peoples when they do criminal act? A Nigerian guy just beat his own girlfriend and they locked him up for 30 years. After 30 years, they will deport him back to Nigeria. But now we are in a case that a, a Italian, Italian guy kill a Nigerian guy and this Italian will be sitting in his house and they call it house arrest. What do Italian government think we are? Why do Italian prime minister is going down? Don't go down, Mr. Man. Why do UK prime minister go down? Why are they all, why are they all running from ruling the country? You white people are going to face this consequence in whatever you are doing to black people. You the Europeans will never know peace. I said it. Trust me. Believe it or don't believe it. Europeans will never know peace. You cannot keep on killing black people and you think you will enjoy your country. No. It's your own country. No problem. Do you think you are not a stranger in this world? Who is not a stranger? You call it stranger. They leave their country and they came to our country. When you speak, what do Italians tell you? They tell you, go back to your country. Why do you leave your country? Do you the Italians or you do you the Europeans think that you are not stranger? Nobody is, uh, is not a stranger in this world. We are all a stranger. One day we will all go back where we came from. Everybody, every person, everybody is a stranger in this world right now we are living. Everybody is a stranger. But white people are killing black peoples. And they arrest, when, they, when white people kill a black man, they, they tell him I was arrest. They came out, they say, oh, we arrest the person. They don't arrest. Go to the person house. You will meet him sitting down there with his family and enjoying himself. This Italian man who killed this Nigerian guy, if you go to his house right now, you will meet him there enjoying with his family. And government will pay him every month for the house arrest. Somebody who murdered a person. Because this is the mentality they have. They call it a dog. He killed a dog. How can you lock a white man because of killing a dog? That's how they call it. When a white man kills a black man. This is what they say. They say, how can you lock your person up? How can you lock a human being up when they kill somebody who is not a human being? This is what they always say. Especially in Italy here. They will never lock Italian citizen for killing a black man. But they will always lock black man for killing an Italian. They will always lock a black man for beating an Italian. They will always lock a black man for stealing train ticket. They will always lock up a black man or block your document for stealing train ticket. Italians, are they not stealing? Your citizens, I am talking to Italian government right now. All the Italian police, all the Italian soldiers, all the Italian carbonary, financier. I am talking to these peoples, an Italian government. And you think you are doing all this rubbish, you Europeans expect to sit in peace. It's not possible. Vladimir Putin will never let you to rest in peace. Vladimir Putin was sent by God to destabilize and peaceful and unpeaceful Europe. And this is what will happen. Vladimir Putin is going to un or unstable Europe for you peoples. It will happen. If Vladimir Putin is sent by God. It's sent by God to pay back whatever you the black, what you, whatever you the Europeans were doing to black peoples. Now, Europeans, you people are suffering. Every prime minister want to go down because the country now is going down. Italian prime minister say he want to go out. He don't want to rule Italy anymore. Angle tell prime minister Boris Johnson, the most racist prime minister in Europe, have gone down. Have already resigned. Why are they resigning? Why are you resigning? 
Why are you the people resigning? I want to know. Why are you the ministers of Europe resigning? Not want to rule the country anymore. A Nigerian guy, it's a very big pity. When I look the boy picture, when I watch this video, I feel like to cry. Trust me. When I watch a video where they were strangling this Nigerian guy, killing him in front of all Italians, they are just making videos. They, are keep, they don't want to involve. Till the Nigerian guy cooled down and was dead. And nothing came out of it. And this Italian guy is sitting inside his room with his family. They call it, they arrest him. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.